back. In this episode, we'll take you to Ingalala Waterfalls and Mount Crawford Forest. Keep watching to the end as we've got some exciting news to share. Just coming to check out the waterfalls. Um, at, oops, watch your step. Um, it's only a 12 minute drive from Normanville and yeah, didn't even know it was here, so we'll check it out. We've brought the drone with us today. It's only the second time we've used it, so we're still getting used to the settings and the handling. Um, so we'll take it up, see what footage we can get. Just the DGI Mavic Air. Um, happy with it so far. Off on a new adventure, we are at Rocky Paddock, Mount Crawford Forest. Very excited to camp here. We came through a couple of weeks ago and uh, it's very picturesque and it certainly lives up to its name. Camping with a couple of friends, um, we're in the swag and they've brought the caravan. but we've got plenty of firewood. Only five dollars per person per night. How good is that? In the first episode I mentioned we were upgrading our swag and we did. So we've got the Kings and it's a lot bigger inside, it's great. I 
love this spot. We had a great first night, lots of laughs. It's a huge area, as you can see on the map, not far from uh, Barossa Valley. Our campsite is back where you can see that car driving along now. I'm recording you now. That's really good for him because his balance is like It's getting thinner though. Oh, you got it. That's far enough. No, go right That's to the end. That's far enough. Week. All the way. I need you for work. Well, just get the car home anyway. Oh my God, Darren. Oh. Yay. How's that? How's that? Alright, so guys, we've got the King's Swag, we've upgraded, um, really nice and big inside, but what we have done is we've added these poles here on either side, um, I think they're about um, $19, uh, yeah, really happy with that, the mattress is quite good, quite thick, and yeah, really spacious window either end, as they all do and a couple of pockets and um, yeah really happy with it. One thing you should definitely do is season your swag. We've been caught before um, and we had torrential rain and the swag uh, did leak so make sure you do that.
But that was it for the whole day. One little car. Oh well, it was fun and relaxing. I've been wanting to show you this little item, thanks to my sister who's an avid camper. She put us onto this. Now we've had butane burners before, but uh, this is different being the container and the lid. So, um, and we've just mocked up a little rack that we put in here so we can put our kettle on it and it doesn't touch the flames. But yeah, being the, being the baking dish with the lid, um, it just seems to cook everything to perfection and love it. I'll, we'll show you some videos later down the track. I know I just sat in mine and it went click, cr crunch. I thought, I, I was waiting for you to say, oh, well, break, why don't you break the chair? And yours did the same. That's crazy. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that uh, bit of footage. So we have some exciting news. Oh, and we are in our work attire because we've just quickly come out to do this quick little clip. But our exciting news is that we are in the process of purchasing, purchasing a caravan which this one let out last time in our first episode. If you saw that, he gave the secret away, but that's okay. <laughs> so we've purchased the caravan from Great Southern RV, um, but it's being made in uh, Melbourne uh, through Villa. So we're just, we've gone through and picked out colors and all the rest, which, which is a bit tricky because you, you don't know what you're gonna end up with. Like, I do. Uh, well. <laughs> I've chosen them. Yeah, it's, it's hard happy. to sort of picture, but we've looked through a lot of caravans uh, to get a bit of an idea. So yeah, so it'll be inter interesting to see the, the end product. Um, so we're super excited. Yes. Um, we're going to hopefully do a bit of off-grid camping. So we'll have to do some things to set it up for that. Do you want to elaborate? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I like to use Homer 12 volt. They've I've been buying so much off them, they're so good. Um, and I've been talking to the guys down there and what we're thinking is probably putting in a five solar panels on the roof, but they're only 130s, uh, but they're a thinner solar panel um, and self-cleaning. So he, he reckons he can get sort of extra of them up there and it'll work better. Um, and we're looking at probably putting in 3,000 watt inverter and two 200 lithium batteries. So, yeah. fingers crossed. Hopefully that should help us out when we're off, off grid camping, <laughs> you'd hope so. Uh, but that would be interesting to test out as well. So, not too sure, um, yeah, when we're expecting the van, we're just we're going through the process. But we actually didn't even expect this was going to happen so soon. Oh, um, or, or ever. You know, it was like a probably like a 10 year plan, but we've always been looking at caravans. Last just, 20 odd years we've been yeah, looking. just for interest look and getting prices, which, yep. yeah. And every every year we we go to the show excited, oh, look at this, look at that. And then we look at the prices and we go, yeah. we're never gonna be able to afford one. <laughs> no, so, yeah. But this, so we, this deal that we come across, um, he took the camper trailer as a trade in and brand new van being made as, Andrea said, um, and it's going, yeah, the price was, Andrea looked at me and said, we can't afford not yeah, to buy it. now's the time. And hey, why, you're young enough to enjoy it? So, young. <laughs> well, young enough. Um, instead of waiting till, you know, you're actually retired and yeah, so yeah. it should be good. Um, unfortunately, we'll just try and, uh, we can't go on lengthy holidays because we are still working, mm. uh, but we're hoping Christmas, area times, Christmas period, we can get away for a whole month and 
and do a few do a few areas which would be great yeah that's so, what we're looking forward to for yeah, sure yeah we're so, just gonna you're just gonna make things happen you watch these other young people get out there and yeah. and they give up they don't have jobs or anything and they go travel in australia yeah. you know like like i mentioned before tripping a van and and they love it they're, yeah. they're living the life it's fantastic yeah. you've got to do it if you're interested if you've got any um, inclination that you think it's something that you might want to do just get out there and, and do it yeah so we've had fun you know we've, we've had fun swagging and in the camper trailer we've had good good times so this will be something different I, my only little concern which i said to Gibbo previously that do you feel like you're sitting in a like a box do you know what i mean like whereas camping in a swag or uh, a camper trailer you feel like you're out in the open and you're yeah. part of nature so you know i yeah that'll be interesting to see so it will but yeah. I'm, that's the reason i'm going to be putting in open up windows um i want open up windows in the van so you can sit there the breeze blows through and you feel like you're outside and let's face it you spend most of your time outside anyway yeah that's right you know you're yeah, only in there if it's raining or something or two stinking bloody hot or something you know yeah, yeah yeah so yeah feel free to give us some ideas on nice places to, to camp like we're, we're happy to do um off-grid camping like i said not in real remote areas though but you know we've got to obviously get used to that and test the waters but if you've got any um great caravan parks that you want to uh, share some ideas with that would be appreciated so absolutely yeah. we're total beginners yeah so, we know nothing yeah all right, well, thanks very much, and we'll see you in our next episode, and hopefully for the big reveal of the caravan. <laughs> <laughs> see you Cheers. guys. Cheers. On ya.